Hello friend, welcome back to Auto Resource YouTube channel. You are looking with me on 2010 Subaru Forester which has approximately 120,000 miles on the odometer. And it had a problem with the check engine light and it was diagnosed then the downstream O2 sensor wasn't working properly and it was replaced. Right after that the idle became a little bit low basically when you went on the stop sign right you stopped somewhere in the intersection the it felt like the idle was too low and the engine will die after a few test drives it improved a little bit but it's still not to the full satisfaction therefore we will perform the engine idle relearn procedure and before I started I made sure that the tailpipe is all the way out of my garage right out of my shop because the engine will be idling for a long periods of time and the whole procedure starts with disconnecting negative terminal on the battery and leaving it disconnected for minimum of 30 minutes here you see it I will put it on the side so it cannot go backwards and touch it and after at least 30 minutes I'm ready to reconnect that negative terminal to the battery and nicely tight it back that should be enough and the next step will continue inside of the vehicle so I have a here watch running because I will put ignition on for 15 to 20 seconds and after that I will start the engine but you have to make sure all the radio all the blowers all the ac everything it's off right so i already have it prepared like that so now ignition on and i will watch on my timer here you don't start it right and i will watch 15 seconds 15 to 20 seconds so this is what I'm doing and after that I will just start it up right I will not touch the throttle and right now I will let it run for 10 minutes not stepping on the throttle nothing like that right and this is really the time when the engine is relearning the correct idle right the correct behavior and that's why we don't want to have any loads we don't want to have a AC cycling on and off we don't want to have the lights on right all of that needs to be switched off it's nicely running obviously it will take a little bit of gas but it should be worth it right for that idle improvement after 10 minutes of idling I will switch the engine off and that will be for 20 seconds right so everything it's off you can keep the key in ignition it doesn't matter I'm waiting 20 seconds after that I will put the ignition on without starting the engine and that's for 10 to 15 seconds So right now it's a 10, 11, 12, 13 and I will start it up again and let it idle for additional 5 minutes. And once again what needs to be stressed out, never step on the throttle, right? Let it just idle, don't touch anything. And after it ran for those last five minutes, I will remove the key from ignition. And I have to wait 
at least 20 seconds right but it can be more simply just don't restart the engine immediately wait at least 20 seconds and after that the vehicle is ready to be started up and go for a test drive and I just came back from the test drive and really that shaking that occasional shaking that the idle were so low at the stop it completely disappeared and it's nice and smooth so I hope you find this video helpful and please subscribe I have way more coming your way soon see you later my friend